Let's pull this up. Why don't we? Why don't we? What? When it comes to making a satisfying dinner, nothing hits the spot quite like a delectable tuna noodle casserole. <laughs> but when you are living the impoverished lifestyle to the max, like I am, the ingredients for such a wonderful dish can be well outside your budget. Well, not True. to worry, mate. I have a special recipe that will suit <laughs> those taste buds and show those greedy wankers down at the grocery store what's what. This is Cog's special tuna noodle casserole surprise. Whoa! As you may be aware, the traditional casserole dish requires the following ingredients canned tuna, egg noodles, a can of cream of mushroom soup, and milk. But obviously, we are not blessed with Rockefeller money in our pocketbooks. We are living the hashtag cog life, so we're going to have to do some substitutions for the ingredients. And by some, I, of course, mean all of the ingredients. First, let's talk about the tuna. Right now, you might be wondering, but cog, canned tuna isn't that expensive. And it's not like you can replace that ingredient. It's literally in the name. Well, first of all, yes, it is that expensive. And yes, we can easily replace it as an ingredient, and we definitely will. Two words, cat food. A single can of tuna fish can cost you upwards of a whole quid. <laughs> Way too much. Wow. So instead, I purchased a scrumptious can of Frisky's Ocean Whitefish and Tuna Dinner oh. Pate for a far more reasonable 62 No, pence. come on, Cog, don't do that. Not Frisky's. Oh, God. Ugh. You upwards of a whole quid way too much so instead i purchased a scrumptious can of frisky's ocean whitefish and tuna dinner pate for a far uh. more reasonable 62 pence i would have preferred the savory shreds variety but alas it was out of my <laughs> price range for the same reason i also avoid high-end brands like fancy feast but not to worry if you follow this recipe perfectly you will barely notice the difference <laughs> next the cream of mushroom soup and the milk you can easily replace these two ingredients and the best part it's free. The primary functions of the soup and milk are to add a creamy texture to the dish, and the mushrooms are meant to add flavor. So you can fulfill both these requirements with coffee creamers and salt packets. What up, Dingo? You can grab salt packets from your favorite restaurant during your next condiment run. Multitasking, <laughs> a very valuable skill when one is destitute. As for the coffee creamers, you can find those for free at the welfare office as well as at most methadone <laughs> clinics. Simply mix the creamers and the salt together in a solo cup, Ugh. and you are well on your way to flavor country. And your wallet will thank Flavor you. town! Or it would if you could afford to own one. God knows I can't. <laughs> Anonymous sent $10. Finally, oh, fancy feast. Actually, that's out of his price range, as we heard. But. Noodles. A bag of egg noodles can cost as much as two pounds sterling in some Whoa. places. Whoa! That's simply unacceptable. <laughs> Instead, just buy one of those square packages of ramen noodles from your local corner They're store like, for a low, low Ten price cents? of 32 pence. Oh, wow. Not only do you We're get not. inexpensive quality pasta, you even get a little packet of MSG flavoring you can sell. <laughs> James Gartner sent $10 on Rumble. Oh, uh, musical mo, We're moving up that list. For a rainy I'll day. that just a sec. Thank and you, James. And with the cat food, salt, and creamers, you are ready to make a casserole for less than one quid. Now, wow. let's cook. <laughs> I hope you paid your your water bill this month, blokes, because you are going to have to bring some water to a boil. True. If you don't own a pot, you can always borrow one from the friend you've selected to leech <laughs> off of, which, if you are like me, you've already done years ago. Boil the ramen for roughly 10 minutes and then strain the water from the pot. If you don't have a strainer, you can do what I do and just dump the whole pot into the sink and then scoop the noodles back into the pot by hand. <laughs> Oh, then, uh. you add the salty cream and the cat food to the noodles and stir the mix vigorously with whatever instrument you have lying around that will do the job. <laughs> and voila, a delicious tuna casserole. Well, there was a toothbrush on there, so I think that that was a bit of wishful thinking for Cog. I don't think he owns one of those. Sure to satisfy and pleasantly surprise any bill collectors or social workers who happen to be paying you a visit that particular evening. Not to mention your male order poo wife who never cooks or does anything around the house all day except leave messes all over and yell at you in her native tongue about the rent check. She is sure to love the dinner you cook for her. Anyway, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit indeed. Oh wow, Dan Scaffolding Company sponsored this. How oh, neat. Neato. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.